Allah Ta'ala said, I testify that there is no God but me. I have no allies. Muhammad was my servant and apostle. Dot whoever is displeased with my statutes, impatient with my trials, ungrateful for the favors of my favors, and dissatisfied with my gifts, should he worship God other than me, and whosoever grieves for the affairs of the world, he seems to be angry with me. And whosoever complains of the calamity which befalls him, he hath earnestly complained of me. And whoever visits the treasurer and humbles himself because of his treasure, then loses two-thirds of his religion. And whoever slaps his face, for lamenting, a corpse, he seems to throw a spear to kill me. And whosoever does not care from what effort he eats, then is not cared from which door he will be put by God into hell. And whoever does not increase, good, his religion, then he experiences, downturn. And whoever experiences a decline in his religion, then dying is better for him. And whoever practices what he knows, God will pass on knowledge that he does not yet know. And whosoever is long wishful thinking, shall not be sincere in his charity. Allah Ta'ala says, O children of Adam, dedicate yourself to worshipping me, I will surely fill your heart with wealth, I will bless your sustenance, I will instill in your body a feeling of comfort, do not neglect to remember me. If you neglect, I fill your heart with poverty, I make your body weary and weary, I plant in your chest a feeling of sadness. If you pay attention to the rest of your life, Surely you will become zuhud in, the remnants of, your hope. Allah Ta'ala says, O children of Adam, death will reveal your secrets, doomsday will deliver your news, torture will reveal your secrets. If you commit a sin, don't look at the smallness of the sin, but pay attention to who you are disobedient to. If you are given a little sustenance, don't look at the amount, but pay attention to who gave it. Don't underestimate small sins, because you don't know which sins you will commit. Do not feel safe from my plots, for my plots are more hidden than ants crawling on smooth stones in the darkness of the night. Allah Ta'ala says, Truly the world is a home for the homeless, wealth for the wealthless. Those who hoard worldly treasures are people who have no sense. Those who like him are people who have no understanding. Those who desire him are people who don't put their trust in him. Those who follow his desires are people who don't know him. Whoever wants temporary enjoyment and a life that doesn't last, then, he has wronged himself, is disobedient to his Lord, forgets the afterlife, is deceived by his world, and desires the outward sin in his heart. Indeed, those who do, deeds, sin, will be rewarded, on the day of judgment, according to what they do. Alanim slash 6 to 120. Allah Ta'ala says, Your patience with a little immorality is easier for you than your patience. For the many torments of hell, truly doom is destruction. Eternal. AI for can slash 25 colon 65. And your patience for a little obedience will be followed by comfort. Long, in which there is eternal pleasure. O oh, children of Adam, you should believe in what I guarantee. To you before I give your sustenance to others and make zuhud. In the world before I left you. And clean yourself from various doubts before your goodness runs out on the day of reckoning. Get busy. Your heart by remembering the hereafter, for there is no place to live, to you but the grave. Ela Azawajala said, O son of Adam, put your hand on your chest, what you like for yourself, you must also like it for others. O son of Adam, your body is weak and your speech is light, your heart is arrogant. O oh, children of Adam, the pinnacle of your goal is death, so do good deeds before death comes to you.
O children of Adam, I did not create the members of the body without creating sustenance first. O children of Adam, if I created you blind, you would regret not having sight. If I made you deaf, you would regret not having hearing. So realize the magnitude of the pleasure that I gave you, be grateful to me and do not deny me. For to me you will return. O children of Adam, what I have shared with you, do not bother looking for it. All, fortune, that I have determined for you will look for you so that the sustenance will find you.